Hi, we're here with Stephen DeKnight, creator, executive producer of Spartacus. Uh, he's here speaking at the RAPS uh, Emmy screening series. Stephen, uh, you're faced with an extraordinary creative challenge. Uh, in between Spartacus, Blood and Sand, and Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, uh, you had to deal with uh, the sudden illness of your lead actor, Andy Whitfield, and a challenge narratively in terms of how to replace him. Uh, before the concept of Gods of the Arena emerged, what was that process like? What were your initial thoughts? How did Gods of the Arena gestate? Maybe you can talk about that portion of the series' life. Right. We were actually working on, uh, we had just started working on season two of Spartacus. Um, the season that's uh, Spartacus Vengeance that will air uh, in 2012 on Stars. Um, when we heard the news that uh, Andy had cancer, um, this was towards the end of season one that we found this out. We'd already wrapped, we were done shooting, we were gearing up for the next season. Right. Um, we had been working, I think, for uh, about a month or so on the new season when we found out the unfortunate news. And um, at first, we didn't shut down. We kept working on season two until we found out what the prognosis was. And the prognosis was very, very good. Um, he had to go into treatment, and uh, that would take about six months for him to go through his treatment. So we were faced with a dilemma. Uh, to shut down for six months would mean we'd lose a lot of cast and a lot of crew. Um, but we, we certainly couldn't start season two without it. So we were trying to figure out what to do uh, as we kept working on season two. So I thought, well, we should have something on the air for the fans, uh, because otherwise it was going to be about 18 or 19 months before the show came back. And after a season one, that devastated the new show. So I floated the idea past stars and my producing partner, Rob Tappert, about doing a prequel, a two-hour event movie that actually filled in a lot of the blanks in the past with uh, Body Otis and Lucretia. Uh, that didn't fly at all. Nobody wanted to do a two-hour movie, so that died. I went back to working on season two, and then Rob suggested that we do a four-hour mini. Right. And that didn't work creatively for me. It was too long to be a really tight story, but too short to really tell a intricate story. So it died for a second time. And then finally, Stars came back to us and said, you know, what would really help us in our schedule is six hours. And that was, it was a Goldilocks moment. That's exactly what worked. So we immediately shifted from season one, uh, or working on season two, into working on the prequel, uh, which became Gods of the Arena. Right. Uh, and unfortunately, as we got about, mm, I'd say, halfway through Gods of the Arena, uh, Andy, who had been given a clean bill of health, uh, found out that his cancer had returned and had to permanently step away from the role of Spartacus. So. We continued on with the prequel knowing that we were faced with the dilemma in the future of either recasting the part of Spartacus or closing up shop after the prequel. So what are we going to see tonight? Tonight we're going to see episode 5 of Gods of the Arena. Uh, a, a very, very, it's the penultimate episode where many storylines come together and uh, you get a real sense of how these characters that you see in Spartacus Blood and Sand really became who they are. It's, it's a pivotal episode in the series. Well, it's about to start. Uh, thanks for the time. Let's go watch it. My pleasure. Thank you.